What is going on guys? Destro here and we are playing some more Battlefield 4. This is Team Deathmatch on the map Zavad 311 and I am using the SRR 61 sniper rifle. Somebody asked me to snipe or uh, post some sniping gameplay and um, definitely don't have a problem posting sniper gameplay but uh, fair warning that this match um, is of course a little bit more quote unquote campy because uh, obviously if you're smart you're not gonna run around with a sniper rifle like it's an SMG or an assault rifle so um, it's gonna be a little bit more slower pace I'm gonna be sticking to this pretty much this area the entire time because uh, if you've ever played Zavod 311 you know that if you get these roofs it almost always guarantees victory because you see uh, every spawn in the game with the exception being the spawn underneath the buildings underground if you can get these roofs and you you are a sniper you're pretty much guarantee victory uh, on Zavad so um, I believe our win percentage is pretty high when it comes to this map because uh, we play this map pretty smart get the roofs watch the spawns you see people uh, try to take you out constantly um, and you will see a lot of traffic in the and in, in, on top of these roofs and in these uh, these areas of course for team deathmatch obviously for conquest and rush things are completely different maps are larger and you play the map uh, a little bit differently for team deathmatch though good spot to be you're gonna notice that um, I did kind of edit some of this match out it was a very long match I believe the match started with kind of an imbalance of uh, players I believe the other team had five to start the match then the server kind of filled up as we played so um, the match itself was roughly 14 or 15 minutes long so I went ahead and cut out some of the more um, slow parts of the match that way uh, you guys get to see more kills, uh, I, you know, even more deaths, and um, you get to see a little bit more uh, gunfight, a little more action, and a little bit more sniper gameplay, rather than just, uh, you know, watching someone wait to, uh, to, to see somebody. Also, I want to let you guys know that I am playing with my buddies, my fellow Team Z members, Krill Dog and Sir Servo, a link to Krill's YouTube channel, as well as his Twitch account, will be in the description, as well as in the annotation on the video. I believe I can link Krill's Twitch account in the annotation. So if you would be so kind, go ahead and uh, head on over, click on uh, those links, and check out my homeboy if you do. Thank you very much. I would link Servo's YouTube channel, but I'm kind of trying to figure out what he wants to do with it with his YouTube channel. He um, definitely has an interest in uploading gameplay and recording gameplay, but he's uh, only uploaded one video. He's had a couple of different recording issues, you know, some technical difficulties, but he's definitely uh, interested in posting gameplay, so uh, I'll talk to him about it and see what he wants to do with his channel. And of course, uh, whenever he gives me the go-ahead, I will go ahead and link his YouTube channel so you guys can uh, can check out Servo's gameplay. There's really not too much to say in terms of commentary for this match. I've said it a couple of different times that I'm by no means the best sniper. Also, uh, for the most part, you see most of my games, I'm, I'm more of a running gun type player. Assault, support, engineer from time to time when I have to be. But uh, for the most part, it's running gun and revives and assault and uh, refilling the, uh, the ammo for, for my teammates and things like that. Um, but I do snipe on maps like this, like Zavad, uh, Shanghai. Siege of Shanghai, as well as Lang Kang Dam. I do snipe on those maps, and I wanted to make it a point in Battlefield 4 to be uh, better at sniping because uh, I sniped a little bit in Bad Company 2. wasn't too bad. I was I was decent by by no means um, very good, uh, and not as good as I am now. I think that I've really improved in in my sniper uh, gameplay. I mean, I still miss shots. I still uh, am getting down. You know the uh, the uh, distance uh, with your shots of uh, of Battlefield 4 and the bullet drop that uh, sniping gives you, but uh, I feel that I have improved. And it's weird seeing for me, um, like if you go to my battle log, you can see that my my uh, most used weapon and the most kills I've gotten with a weapon is the SRR uh, 61, and that's that's just weird for me to see because normally it's an assault rifle or an LMG that's up at, up there at the top uh, as as my most used weapons so um, I've definitely put in more of an effort to be better at sniping in Battlefield 4 that's what I wanted to do when the game was released last year I believe I said that in my first video that I uploaded Battlefield 4 that I wanted to make a, a real effort to improve at sniping with Battlefield and uh, I, I feel that I've done that feel that I accomplished what I wanted to do 
it's not easy in Battlefield 4. It was it was pretty difficult in in uh, Bad Company 2. Battlefield 3, I really didn't snipe that much. Maybe a total of five hours uh, within the entire span of Battlefield 3 that I sniped. Then when Gunmaster was released, I kind of was at a disadvantage because I would do really good in Gunmaster. I would be at the top and uh, have the ability to win, but the sniper rifles would pop out and I just could not snipe for shit in Battlefield 3. So that was frustrating. So I wanted to change that in Battlefield 4. And um, I'm hoping that Gunmaster is released. I was really hoping that it was going to be like out of the box, one of the playlists and one of the game types that we could play in Battlefield 4 because I know in Battlefield 3 Gunmaster was very popular. So I, I was hoping Gunmaster would be available right out of the box and then I was I, I was disappointed when it was not and since then they have not released it in like an update which is pretty disappointing because that match type is a lot of fun to play. I'm still hoping that it will be released at some point so we can get some Gunmaster gameplay in because that match type is a lot of fun to play. Um, so uh, we'll see about that but um, I feel that uh, with my improvements in sniping that uh, I, I at least have the chance to uh, to do better in Gunmaster than I did in Battlefield 3. So that's pretty much it for the commentary. I hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, I do apologize it is pretty campy but again you, I, I, I have a real problem putting the, the words camping and sniper together because I know a lot of people view snipers that stay in the general area as campers but if you are smart and you're gonna be a smart sniper you're not gonna run around and you're gonna leave that to the assault guys the support guys and the engineer guys to run around and you're gonna wanna play especially in battlefield you're gonna wanna play uh, the role of a sniper and recon as it's intended to be played it's not like Call of Duty where you have um, easy no scopes and quick scopes. It's definitely possible to get uh, those quick scopes and no scopes if you get somebody rushing you or um, you, you come around a corner and there's somebody right there and you kind of panic shoot. You have your sniper rifle out and not your pistol. You take a panic shot and uh, it's, it's definitely possible to get a quick scope or a no scope on a guy. I've done it many times myself but if you're gonna be smart, if you're gonna be a smart uh, sniper in Battlefield 4 it's smart to play the class as it's intended to be played so that's what I'm doing so I hope that you guys can enjoy and appreciate this video, if anything, just for that, because I'm a big believer in play the class as it's intended to be played. So thank you, as always, for your comments, your ratings, and your subscription. It is always appreciated. Much love, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later. Two left. 